Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. It is Saturday, December 5th, 4th, no day it is, and I'm getting ready to go to my very first cycling class. Hopefully it'll all work out, because I go to Gold's Gym, and to go to classes, you have to have like a special membership, but I don't have it, but I'm going to see if I can just walk into the class. So, um, it's 9.13, the class starts at 9.30, so I need to hurry up and go, because I just last minute decided to go, but I thought I'd bring you guys along with me to my very first cycling class, because with a basic YouTuber, I'm going to go cycle. So, I have a banana for breakfast, and then I feel like I my water. And yeah, let's get ready to go. Basically, um, I have not ever done a fitness class before, like at the gym by myself. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm hoping that I'm even gonna be able to take the class, but y'all know literally every YouTuber goes to Soul Cycle and it says it's changed their life and that they've had the time of their life. And I mean I've seen the physical body differences of my favorite YouTubers, like that started cycling and like they do it all the time now. I was so tired that I didn't even talk to you guys about the main reason why I'm doing a cycling class today and that's because basically I want to try a soul cycle class but the nearest soul cycle to me is literally an hour away from where I live and I'm not about to make that journey if I don't even like cycling so I'm trying this class out just to see if I like cycling and if I'll keep up with it before I make the journey out to a soul cycle place if that makes sense so that's why I'm doing this. This is a 9:30 class it's only 30 minutes long but it's literally the only one that I can work into my schedule that they have in my gym um so yeah any other time they have the classes I have work or something else so yeah I hopefully we can make it to this class um and yeah I'll update you guys after the class yeah so hopefully I don't die hopefully my lungs don't collapse so I'll be good to you know keep both my lungs so yeah I'm gonna do my banana and I'll talk to you guys after the class hopefully Twenty minutes later. <laughs> so, um, if I'm being a hundred percent honest, oh my god, I'm sweating. Good thing this is like a moisture wick shirt because I would be drenched. I actually really enjoyed that, like a lot, because. She turned, ew, you can hear my asthma. Ready? And I'm oh, I'm falling off the camera. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Wait. It is about 10 o'clock now. The class was literally 30 minutes. And I am super tired. My face is really red. I'm really sweaty. That was really nice. I actually really enjoyed that. You had free range to do pretty much whatever you wanted. She like she would tell you like to turn the knob on the spin bike to make it harder for yourself. And of course, like I try to follow along with that. I didn't go all the way ham. I gave it my all, but I didn't go like all the way because I want to walk tomorrow. You know what I mean? So I have to work. So like I don't want to be like unable to walk. I really enjoyed that, and it's definitely something where I like it, the way the teacher was instructing was really nice. And I loved how it was dark in there, so you couldn't see everybody. And like I hate working classes where like you can see everyone. Everybody's always looking around and all that stuff because like in cycling. And plus, I was literally the youngest person there. Everybody else was like a cool. 25 but mostly like 35 so i was really comfortable in the environment yeah according to my watch it i burned like 400 calories so i'm not mad at that and i've also heard that it's like hit workout style cycling i'll be burning calories all day which i'll enjoy so hopefully tomorrow I wake up with a flat tummy it wasn't anything like i would dread going back to which usually with workouts that are like effective it's like oh i can't go back i don't want to go back but like i want to go back and i want to keep doing it now so that's really good and a lot of people in the class were really nice to me because she was like, raise your hand if this is your first time cycling. And I raised my hand. Of course, I was the only one. So then she was like, give it up for a first time. And I was like, oh, God, here we go. Like, don't everybody look at me. And luckily, nobody's really paying attention. So a couple people clapped and it was fine. But I was like, oh, God. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. If you're thinking about trying spin or cycling classes, I definitely recommend it because if I can do it, then you can do it. Like, I literally spent my whole life doing competition dance. So like not doing that anymore since I graduated high school in june of last year like i've seen the difference in my body so i'm really trying to find another like workout class kind of thing because i work out on my own but i feel like a class would be more motivating for me and like really force me to like go in and burn the most calories i can i don't really know what else to do on this vlog i just want to vlog my first time cycling um and i hopefully i could show you a little bit of the clips from my phone i tried not to be too obvious because i was like the new girl and i don't want to be like really obvious did you hear my, hear my lungs? Goodness gracious. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go home now. I'm sweating. I need to take a shower. And then 
I'm really boring. All I have to do today is homework. I'm taking two winter classes. So the one I'm taking now ends, um, the final opens on the 13th, but I still have like a week's worth of lessons to do. But my second online class starts on Monday. So instead of doing like two different classes every day, I'm just going to try to crank out my first class all the stuff this weekend so that way all I have to do the next two weeks is make the study guide for the final for the first class and then just focus on the second class so yeah that's my plan let's go ahead and go home I guess I'm gonna turn this into a little vlog so hope y'all wanted for it y'all didn't ask for it but <laughs> I'm giving it to you so yeah let's go home I feel like I always home in the car but I have my camera now so that's good fun and fresh and I one thing I wish I would have done though different is drink way more water before I got in there because I was like, dang, I'm thirsty, but I put my Yeti on the freaking floor behind the bike, which was stupid. So, just turning this into a daily vlog. Sorry, you didn't want this, but you're getting it. I just got home. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll make a smoothie bowl and make some coffee. I haven't even had coffee yet this morning, but I feel really energized now because of that class, so I might not have any then. I wanna see if I can survive. Look at my earrings, aren't they so cute? Oh, they're like broken. They're from Amazon. I got a pack of like nine cute like little dangly earrings for eight dollars. Yeah, I'll be sleeping on Amazon. Oh. Alright y'all, I just made the smoothie bowl. It's kind of cute for real. I have mismatched socks on, which is great too. But look at that. And Jenny Sue's here. She's making some eggs. Straight into the camera. <laughs> She's making some eggs. And with peppers and such and spinach. Hello everyone. So I haven't updated you guys in a hot minute. Um, because if I'm gonna be honest, I really just forgot that I was uh, vlogging today. Um, yeah. So I was really feeling the vibe after that class, but I got home and I ate a smoothie bowl and I think I showed you guys and I had some eggs. Y'all, that tiredness hit me so hard. I literally consider taking a nap which any of you guys who know me know I really don't take naps that often I don't know why but like I just can't ever take naps like it's not like I'm trying to be like I can't take naps so like I really can't like I can never fall asleep during the daytime when the lights out like you know what I mean but yeah I tried to take a nap because I was literally so tired um that was before I had coffee because I really wanted to see how long I could go without coffee which wasn't long um oh my hair is really crusty okay but yeah so basically what I've been doing it's like to, it's like almost three o'clock now. So what I've been doing for the past three hours, tried taking a nap, didn't work, made some coffee, and then I emailed Victoria's Secret because basically, there's this really cute Sherpa cardigan. I'm wearing a pink Sherpa thing right now, but it's a different thing, which is kind of embarrassing. Why don't you have multiple? Why do I need more than one? But okay. Anyways, um, basically, I ordered something like a week before Christmas. And it was supposed to be delivered on December 23rd, and it is January 4th. Is it the 4th? And I still don't have it yet. Um, and the other day it said, I got a notification that it was shipped to my house on December 23rd, when it definitely wasn't. So I went on the pink website and, like, emailed them and talked with, like, a person. And they're gonna send me out a new thing. I just got, like, a Sherpa cardigan and then a scrunchie, because I had to spend, like, I think it's if you spent $50, you got $30 off or something like that. So I did that, so I got it, my cute little card and everything, I'm really excited about it, but I have to give it. And I started watching bullet journal videos, I was working in my bullet journal, um, and I've decided that this year I want to start bullet journaling again because I used to be really, like, obsessed with it, senior year of high school and junior year. I bullet journal for, like, two years, pretty much, um, but the weird thing for me is that, like, it goes through phases, so, like, there'll be, like, two months, like, two or three months where I'll be, like, down for it, stick to it, and there's some months where I don't even open the bu my bullet journal at all. And then there's some ones where I like kind of use it, kind of don't. Wow, that looks really messy. That's embarrassing. I want to use my bullet journal for kind of like more of like my self wellness, health, and YouTube stuff. But I just came down here to get my markers and everything because I don't know where they are. <laughs> so yeah, because I want to start decorating um, in my bullet journal because I've been like penciling out. Shout out to Jordan for the tip. I've been penciling out what I want, like my spreads for my bullet journal. Um. But I haven't actually like filled it in and colored it, made it pretty. So yeah, one thing that's hard for me is to pick a consistent theme because I personally like so many different like aesthetics and like vibes kind of. So, like some spreads I want to be really colorful, some spreads I want to be more monochrome. Um, and I was watching this girl's video, she did like a 70s inspired bullet journal, y'all. That thing was so cute. I was like, wow. 
but I also get tired of things really easily so like I can't ever stick to just one theme especially because it's like for my 2020 bullet journal um so like you kind of want it to be like the beginning part like the same theme and I just have trouble with that so I think I'm just gonna do whatever I want because I mean that's the beauty of bullet journaling you can do whatever you want and I've been talking for four minutes wow okay uh, imagine I'm looking like a rat couldn't tell you what that's like so here I'm just showing you guys how to do my kind of fake calligraphy kind of thing. Basically, I write in cursive, and then on the downstrokes of each letter, I just thicken it up to make it look more of like a calligraphy kind of vibe, if that makes sense. I can do a more in-depth tutorial if you guys want in another video. Um, and then here I'm just showing you some clips of me setting up my 2020 bullet journal. This is mainly going to be for like YouTube and personal goal kind of stuff, so not anything, you know... That's why I didn't really fill them out yet. I showed you me decorating them because I spontaneously decided to bullet journal again today. I don't really know. I guess it was because I had a whole bunch of free time since I didn't have work. But um, yeah, here's just an overview of my spreads. If you guys want to see more bullet journal videos from me, let me know. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that. And yeah, the rest of the night I just did homework. But I did end up ending up the vlog, so I'm going to shut up and let Sav do the talking. Hey guys, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I made it funny by editing and hopefully you weren't bored. I just thought I'd give today a try because I've a lot of people have, like a lot of you guys have told me that you like um, my vlogs and want to see me do more vlogs. So I tried to do that for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me around today while I tried cycling class for the first time and was just bullet journaling, kind of just having a nice relaxed day, which doesn't happen very often for me because I usually always have work or something, but very thankful, very grateful. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and everything like that. Hope you have a fantastic weekday or whenever you're watching this. And yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye. That was really weird.